Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the Space Repetition Scheduler. This is a unique way in RemNote that you can actually change the Space Repetition algorithm and settings, even at the document level for your Rem. So let's get into the ways that we can do that. To access the Space Repetition Scheduler, just go to your account settings. I'm gonna do so by going to the toolbar, clicking on my account name, clicking settings, and going to custom schedulers. So this is where you can actually customize your space repetition algorithm for your RemNote knowledge base. If you've never toggled with this before, your knowledge base will have the default algorithm in RemNote. You can click on show more on this page and it's actually gonna show you what is happening to your flashcards as you click on solid, easy, or hard in your queue. For example, if I'm studying from a flashcard in my queue and it's the first time I've ever studied that flashcard and I hit solid, that card is gonna be shown to me again in 24 hours. Tomorrow, when I see that flashcard again, and I think it's easy, it's gonna be shown to me in four days. And you can see the actual space repetition algorithm at RemNote at work here with five different examples. You also have the option to switch to the Anki or Anki SM2 algorithm, which is, of course, very similar to the flashcard program Anki. Again, you have five examples of the algorithm at work right here, and you can see that they're slightly different from our default settings. The unique thing that you can do with the Anki SM2 scheduler is you can actually tweak it further and customize it to your liking. So if you scroll down after I clicked on the Anki SM2, you'll see that there are actually intervals that you can change for the learning phase, the exponential phase, the relearning phase, and so on and so forth. And you can change these values for yourself. For a more in-depth dive into how the actual algorithm itself works and what changing these properties actually does to your knowledge base, click on the learn more about the algorithm right here and it should take you to a page that explains how the algorithm works in a much more knowledgeable way than I could probably tell you right now. And the cool thing about using the Anki SM2 scheduler is that anytime you actually make edits in the algorithm itself, you'll see those changes reflected in one of these five examples. So as a demonstration, I'm just gonna delete all of these and I'm gonna pick the learning phase interval to be one and three days. And as I made those changes, you can actually see that the algorithm itself changed based on what I put in. I'm gonna make a few more tweaks to show that in action. Let's increase this by one day, by two days, and you can see that the algorithm is changing by three days, it's changing again. And one of my favorite things about being able to customize the algorithm itself is setting a maximum interval date. So for example, if I have an exam coming up next Friday, which is in two weeks, then I wouldn't want to set my flashcards more than two weeks from now, which means I'll never see them again. So what I can do is actually set this to 14 days if I'm gonna start studying today. And that way, all the flashcards that I study from this folder will only be shown 14 days from now. And of course, at the bottom, you have an option to reset to default Anki SM2 settings if you've made too many tweaks and you don't really like the algorithm that you've made for yourself. Now, aside from the two default schedulers that you have here, you can actually create customizable RemNote algorithms at a document-specific level. So at the top of the screen here, you have the option to add or edit a scheduler into your knowledge base. Go ahead and click on this drop-down menu, and let's create a new scheduler. I'm going to name this Maddie's Exam Crunch Time. And I'm going to go ahead and choose an Anki SM2 scheduler. And let's just make this a really, really rigorous uh, schedule. So 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and then 1. So these are going to be shown much more quickly than they normally would. And I'm going to lower from 4 days to maybe 2 days. I'm going to change the ease of the card to 150% and the bonus to 100% and then, oops, 100% and the interval multiplier, let's do 75. And the max interval days, let's do two weeks here. So I just made a much more rigorous study schedule for myself. This is not the one I actually use, it's just an example. But let's go ahead and apply it now to different folders in my knowledge base. So I'm gonna X out of the settings right here and I'm gonna go over to my All Notes tab. From my All Notes tab, I'm going to go to Folders, and from here I can actually change the space repetition algorithm at the folder or document level, depending on what I wanna study. 
So let's say, for example, I have my pediatrics test coming up next Friday. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the page settings of the pediatrics folder, choose customize space repetition, and I'm going to choose Maddie's exam crunch time for this folder. Now, when I study from my pediatrics folder, it's actually going to employ that new algorithm I just made. And you can change that algorithm to something else if it wasn't really working out for your schedule. And let's say that Friday rolls around and I just took my pediatrics test and now I can disable all those flashcards so they don't show up in my queue at all. You can also do that by clicking on the page settings again and just disabling descendant cards. And that way all of the cards in that folder will no longer appear in your queue. And if you practice enough flashcards every single day, you can add to your daily streak. So I just answered 50 flashcards and now I have a two day streak. I just took a month off from studying for my boards. Before that, I had a streak of almost 400. So I promise I'm not slacking too hard. Just taking a quick break. My set target is 50 flashcards a day to get that streak, but you can change that number to 100, to 200, to 10, or whatever it is for your own study needs. And you can do that by going into the settings. So go to settings, choose the flashcards tab, and scroll down to change the maximum daily target flashcard goal. All right, everyone, that's everything about the space repetition scheduler and RemNote, how you can change them, how you can make new ones, and how you can see the changes when you actually modify the algorithm yourself. Hope that was helpful, and I will see you all in the next video.